Hey guys, okay, so, you know, I haven't reviewed in a few weeks. So, let me tell you about the first game I got for my PS3 and what, over the time that I've had it and the emotional impact it's caused on me. The first game I ever got with my PS3, it essentially came with this system. There were really two games that it came with. It came with its disc-based game that it came with that was Metal Gear Solid 4, and the other game it came with, which was a free downloadable game called Pain. Now, I like them both. Now let me tell you about what happened to me personally with Metal Gear Solid 4. So I got it originally, and originally I kind of didn't like it, like I didn't, you know, eh, eh, I don't really like playing this, don't know any of the thing. Because I had never really previously ever played any uh, Metal Gear Solid games. Uh, I think I would played like 10 minutes of Metal Gear Solid 3 a couple years before this. Maybe a year or so, maybe a little less, I'm, I forget. Up at uh, one of my dad's friends, his son, uh, had a, uh, up at their cabin, that he had a uh, copy of it. And we played for a little bit, but I didn't know anything of the series or anything. So when I got this game, I was kind of like, uh, I don't like this, uh, it's so weird. I was young, didn't really get the whole noir feel of Metal Gear Solid. Up until probably about the first year I had my system, I kind of got interested and I thought, uh, well, this looks interesting, you know, maybe I'll play it, maybe I'll see what I like, see if I like it. And... I started playing it, and I found out, oh my god, this game is really fun. I really like this game. And then I started loving the series, man. I went crazy for it. I don't know. It just was like a, oh my god, stupid Internet Explorer. Fine, close the friggin' program. Um, it was kind of like a big, like, oh my god kind of moment. This game is amazing. And really fun, you know. And up until probably about, you know, I played it really well. And I finally, you know, I got really far in the game over that time. Up until the third act. And uh, unfortunately for me, I sucked at sneaking games. Seriously, I was just terrible. Um... So, I ended up, you know, like, oh my god, why is this not working? And eventually, I bought a strategy guide. My brother bought it for me, actually, for like a birthday, I think it was. And uh, I finally got the strategy guide, and I figured out, okay, well, I'm supposed to go here. And then for like, uh, probably about six months, uh, I was like, oh my god. God, uh, I found the place, but why can't I go in? I can't go in, I can't go in. And I just kept trying to figure out, oh, okay, maybe I could do this. No, that's not going to work. Maybe I could use the robot in the game to hack the console or type something or do something like that. No. Uh, then I kind of went into a mode, oh, my God, I just want to finish this. This is so fun, but I want to play this. So but then I kind of just cut back like, uh, uh fine. Maybe I'll eventually complete it. Till up until about summer of 2011. This was a little bit before school. Well, this was my, probably a month or so. Maybe two, maybe like three weeks before school was going to restart back. And I was sitting in. And I was thinking, okay, well, I think I finally figured this out. And with the help of the strategy guide, I was finally able to complete the stalking stage. Get past that. And, oh my god, when I finally got to the next act, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I finally did it, it felt great. And then, I, st I played through the rest of the day, I think I finished it like um, around 3 o'clock on that day, I think it was like a Saturday or something. And I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh man, that's good, oh yes. So, it was like 3 o'clock, and before I finally knew it, uh, it was like, I, and that day, like, by the time of, like, uh, before I knew it, 
it was, it turned out it was like um, one or two a.m. and I was watching the credits roll. It was like, oh my god, that was so good. Oh yeah. Oh man, it was like, oh yeah, kind of feeling. It was like, oh, I finally did it. I finally did it. Yes, yes, yes. Ugh, I, I was like, oh yeah, I did it. And um, you know, the game's awesome. The series is awesome. A little before that, though, probably about, I don't know when, I had, you know, gotten, like, um, when I had finished, you know, like, doing this, like, I was like, oh, well, probably about half a year before I finished the game, I ended up buying the first, a, um, a port of, uh, the downloadable port of, um, Metal Gear Solid 1, and to this day I haven't been able to get through the first screen of that game. I really suck at that one. Because you start out with your fist, it's not really, uh, a big thing I think it might be for me is like weird controls, like the fact like circle starts the game, these weird controls, it's a different feeling since I never grew up with the PS1. I grew up on the very... Uh, the first console that I think I ever played would probably have been the Super NES. But I never had the happiness of having a NES or, you know, the N64. I mean, I have played the N64 plenty of times. Uh, same thing with the Wii and, of course, my own Xbox that I own. And I'd have to say, this is a great game. And, you know, this is a definite buy for me. My issue, if I was going to say any, is the fact that the, gun, the game just needs even more guns. Because once you've bought all the guns from the gun guy in the game, Drebin, you have no real other things you can really use the points that you accumulate from. And it's, it's a little annoying, you know, because, like, I mean, you can buy ammo with it, but usually you're going to rack up a lot of points... And most of the time, you're not going to use the guns that use uncommon ammo, usually, unless you really need them, but, you know, still. And, for me, uh, there's really no other issues, except, you know, maybe if the, I could... I'd like to see another Metal Gear Solid game, frankly. Now, I'm looking so excited for Metal Gear Solid Rising. Oh, wait, they're not calling Metal Gear Solid Rising Metal Gear Solid Rising. Anymore. That game was canceled. Now we have Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance. Yeah. So, I'm still looking for it. Forward to another MGS game. I'm looking forward to playing uh, with Raiden. I'm looking for. I'm wanting to see if this implementation of cutting technology is really going to be a really cool idea or a failed attempt at doing something new. And I'm really hoping it's a successful attempt because I love games where I get to cut people to ribbons like that, like Kill Bill style, you know, that sort of thing, but have it not be cartoony. I want my games to be realistic in that sense. Now, if I'm going to talk about graphics for this game, though, I know I, I kind of forgot to talk about graphics because I kind of got into Metal Gear Solid Rising. If I'm going to talk about graphics for this game, this came out in 08. So, if I was going to not, if I was going to say, you know, 2008, you know, it's been a while since then. But the graphics are still fantastic. Shadows are still, you know, made out of Legos and that sort of thing. But it's still a fantastic game. And I'd be lying if I said I didn't love it. And, you know, the graphics are still great, you know. Um, the graphics are still great, and, you know, sure, they aren't as amazing as they once were in that time, but still, you know, if you compare them to the graphics that most games were sporting back in 08, this would be top-of-the-line quality, and it really is, and, you know, I'd be lying if I didn't want to, if I said I didn't want to see them remake all the Metal Gear Solid games with new technology new, you know, advancements in stuff, you know, like, take, like, Metal Gear Solid 1, and then, like, boom, 
throw it into modern graphics like this kind of stuff, but redo it, you know, the, the way it was, but, you know, just modern graphics, you know, modern sound, modern control, more modern controls, you know, that sort of thing. That's what I'd like to see happen. I know of the Metal Gear Solid HD collection, but just because that, you know, I'm still thinking if I want to buy that, I probably will end up buying it, yes. But this is a fantastic game. Definitely worth the purchase price. Way, yeah, while it is pricey, yeah, it's pretty cheap by now. You could probably pick it up for 10 to $20, depending on where you buy it. And my copy, here's how you can see it's a, it came with the system. See this little thing? Not for resale? That only came on the console included versions. So, that's how you know it's good. But, if you buy this for a retail copy that didn't come with the version, with the console, you don't get that watermark right there. So, some people are going to want that watermark, though, because that, I think, raises the value. Now, I definitely say, with the next Metal Gear Solid, I really want to see what they do. I really hope they didn't, you know, kill the cutting technology idea that was implemented in the very first, you know, in the TGA um, trailer for Rising in, in 2010. I hope they didn't just completely, you know, eh, throw that away kind of stuff. Tell me what you think about the upcoming Metal Gear Solid game. Uh, Revengeance, and what you thought of MGS4 and the MGS series in general. Thank you all for watching. Good night.